So recently I showed you guys a new laptop from Razer, the Blade Stealth. A laptop that anybody would be happy to own. Today, that might not be the case. Today I'm going to show you a laptop that's $39 on Amazon. $39. Now, they're not really calling it a laptop. They're calling it a netbook. You might not even remember the term netbook. Netbooks were all the rage once upon a time. I don't even know how many years ago. They weren't very powerful. Most of them had Intel Atom processors. What a bizarre era in tech. Here's the thing. This is like some next level netbook in the sense that it's only $39 and it runs Android. This is on Amazon. You can buy this right now. So the question is, what do you get for $40? And most most importantly, does it suck? It's got Wi-Fi, a browser, a camera, email, ebook reader, map, music, apps. I'm guessing that front-facing camera is, well, it's probably not pixel dense. We'll find out. Flip it open. It is kind of impressive for $39, I guess. It has YouTube. That'll be interesting. HDMI port, an RJ45 jack, and a DC in. Wow, I'm excited. Android 4.0, a 0.3 megapixel front-facing camera, all right. Four gigs of built-in flash memory, one gig of RAM. The HDMI out jack is capable of 1080p, okay. A couple of USB ports and a mini USB port for charging. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Jack. Charging, but don't. Stereo speakers, SD card slot. It's got a headphone jack. The ice cream sandwich, Android up there. You see that? That always... Man, I haven't had an ice cream sandwich in a while. Maybe I'll pick one up today. Ooh. Bedtime reading. There it is! Okay, feels pretty sturdy. Tiny little power brick. So the power brick just has a female USB port and then goes into here, a mini USB to charge this up. What can you get for 39 bucks these days, Jack? Not much, but you get this. Ooh, smooth. Here on the back, HDMI, Ethernet, two USBs on this side of the unit, and then the other side packs in your SD card slot, headphone jack, and a microphone port as well. Look at all the connectivity on this thing for 39 bucks. Look at the manufactured date. <laughs> July of 2012, the moment of truth. <laughs> it's kind of cute, I don't know, maybe for a kid or something. The trackpad is tiny. An anti-reflective screen, might I add. Now this is a tiny little keyboard. Could you get used to that? Maybe if you have tiny little hands? All right, so I've got it booted up now. I'm at a familiar Android screen here from, from back in the day, as you could tell. It's like if an Android phone was a laptop. I have it hooked up to a display here. It is kind of odd though. Oh, here. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now, since the screen is not touched, navigating Without the mouse, you use the directional buttons here. Now they're a little, are they lagging or is that just me? What's going on here? Up and down works and left works, right is not working. I believe the right directional arrow is not working. Hmm. And type, test. Yes, the right. <laughs> okay. I can't say I'm surprised. Listen, I'm not gonna let that hold me back, all right? If you're going for the $39 laptop, chances are you're ready to deal with some issues. You're gonna be mad, let's be honest. Even at 39 bucks, you're gonna be mad. Anyhow, it's not gonna hold us back from our evaluation here because, well, or it will, because I can't get over to the apps beyond this area. Can obviously use my mouse, widgets, apps. That's a disappointment. Let's try the camera. <laughs> Slightly overexposed, holy, 0.3 megapixels, here we come, 2012, back at ya. That's special. You see that, Jack? Don't you just wanna put a picture like that on Twitter? You just can't wait. Who even knows where that's saved to? There's not much storage on here. Let's go ahead and open a browser. It looks like we can open a browser, at least. Look at that, we're browsing the web. Since we can't navigate to the YouTube app, we're gonna go to the website. First, you gotta spell YouTube correctly. Oh, the B, the B is not working either, Jack. Good. Good. Good! B. 
Oh man, I can't even type YouTube. I feel like if I just Google YouTube spelt incorrectly, I'm in survival mode here. Look at that, see, there it is. Loads up the mobile YouTube very, very slowly. Unbox. Oh man, what's going on here? Un, no N, no N. Who needs an N? Okay, hang on a second. You, therapy. Unbox therapy, yes! Okay, we got a fresh video here. Let's see if it plays. Can we, it's playing, it's gonna play in HQ here. Man, I really feel like I'm in some other era right now. This is not playing either. Yeah, what? Oh, I just took a screenshot, that's good. I can't recommend this to anyone. The date on the pictures folder is 1999. I mean, I just gotta say it how it is. I just gotta tell the people what's happening. Another option is we could have requested the desktop website. You might get a $40 heart attack here getting all fired up. Imagine you thought this was gonna be useful. Imagine this was just a day, another day in the off. Oh, it did it launch the mobile version anyway? Okay, we have a thumbnail. That's a, no, we're back here now. It's killing me. I mean, what am I? What am I trying to do right now? Like, I just gotta tell the people what's happening. I don't even think I need to tell you much of a story here because it should be fairly obvious at this point that this is, this is probably just gonna drive you crazy. You may become very frustrated. God. God! You might regret at a later date. This is one of the rare occasions where I really thought it might actually be decent for what it is, but I can safely say avoid this thing, avoid it at all costs. Steer clear, treat it like the plague. Oh, and yeah, of course it sucks. If you needed to hear it in those terms.